Hello, what you have seen on the prior scene with Silo Jordan and I were uh, several amazing studies, several amazing training that corresponds to the study that it's called for Horo. Horo means uh, wandering or errant and uh, these studies correspond to uh, several uh, methods applied when uh, a special moment in the history that these, some stories, some legends tell us that when the season needed to spread throughout Japan, uh, they needed to, uh, to look for information uh, all Japan wide. Then they prepared several people, several uh, errands in order to be capable of uh, capturing information to to find information throughout all Japan and uh, they were only like uh, vagabonds or like errands that all, the only thing that they have it's a walking stick then the techniques that uh, are delight by the speed it's only with the help of a weapon that it's no more than a very strong uh, uh, a very strong walking stick. Then uh, what we will uh, on this method uh, handle, it's a walking stick like an errand, need to, to be walking throughout the mountains. In the origins these techniques were performed in order, or the origins of the method says, the legends, that were applied in order to defend on the, on the wild Japan against uh, uh, savage uh, animals, then uh, remember that all tradition, the season tradition comes from the northern side of Japan or from the Hokkaido island, then of course we could find uh, like wolves and uh, bears and these walking sticks were as a way not only for helping on the, on the walk but also to defend against several uh, animals or bees that you will find throughout the forest of the north in Japan. After that, of course, they were trained because they will need to defend against any kind of attacker or enemy that could identify them as a, as a rebel. Then, uh, for this reason, they were trained in some method that you have seen some of them on the prior uh, scenes. After that, you will find that the, the uh, the most important tip, the most important key on, on these methods uh, concerns the idea of applying these strikes with this stick with a very, very fast movement. They cannot let conditions to react or to recompose the position for the enemy. Then all the strikes need to be with, um, uh, with uh, 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 striking one after the other. It's to say it's like uh, repeating the strike in several areas, not only the same, but for the idea of uh, don't giving the chance to escape from the attack. Then the main uh, and the the, the main uh, the main key here is how fast they need to to perform the technique. Right now, with the help of Sensei uh, Rebecca. Uh, we, I will explain several ways to defend against an attacker that could be holding a katana or could be carrying a, a katana and we need to defend. If the attacker maybe, for example, uh, is trying maybe to attack me, I am walking by the, by the, by the forest, walking by the, uh, by the outside, and I have an enemy in front of me using a katana and in this case she tries to, for example, uh, to attack me on Makuchi, what I will do is holding like a katana, I will strike first, striking on the arms like that and after that I will pass and I will strike one more time to the head. This is a double strike. I will need some, uh, some space in order to uh, perform like in a normal situation because if not it seems that I am only making uh, double movements but I will perform in a, in a real way then of course I will ask Sensei Rebecca to attack me in Makuchi but I will perform it with a, a longer distance in order to avoid 
any any kind of, of, of problem or mistake here. For example, if she tries, for example, like that I am walking and she tries to attack me on Mako, what I will do is like that. One more time. Only be aware because my uh, the, the distance between us is is short. If I am here like like walking, but I am surprised by the attack, I will surprise that by one, two. And this don't has any chance to react. Remember that the first strike will be striking on the elbow, striking on the arm, with the idea of not having conditions to react. One more time, please. When she is attacking me, I am striking one and striking two. This is one of the uh, basic methods that they will apply. Let's see all the different. When, for example, she is remaining on Jola no Kama on a, on a, on a high range position. From here, what I will could do is I could strike one on the elbow and two on the head, on the temple, near the eyes, in order to strike her down. I will perform with a normal speed, not the fastest speed only, a normal speed in order that you could see how violent, because those methods, this method, sorry, are very, very violent and very powerful. Then the key is to understand how this could be performed and developed. Then one more time, she will remain like that. On Jordan Okamaya, two. Sorry, one more time. One, two. The two strikes first to the elbow in order to break the elbow bones to the forearm, and after that, in order to break completely on the side of the cranium. We could, we have seen that uh, we could apply then so uh, repeating attacks to one side to the other. Like for example, if C uh, tries to to attack me before she attacks, I could strike one to one side to the legs and to the other. Then if I apply uh, on a normal speed, I will ask Sensei Rebecca to be away from my attack, I will do one to two. These don't have any chance the enemy to be capable to attack in between one, the first attack and the second. Then they will apply not one, only two, they will apply in several movements, that is the main idea. We could apply in several forms and several ideas, but this is part of a um, more uh, close study. We will need to, to understand properly all details. But remember that for over the speed, how fast you need to, to perform, the key here is to hold the, the stick to hold this stuff as a katana. We won't be applying like a bow or jutsu like that. This is not the idea, the idea is not of holding like a bow. We could apply also for the last uh, explanation, if we apply on a vertical line, like we could say like Mako uh, Rensuku Uchi, like that. For example, if she tries to, for example, uh, draw in the katana from, from here, okay, what I could do is I could strike one, and after that I could strike two. This is a very common uh, reaction for, for this method. Then, for example, if we are like that, we could strike one and strike two with the same movement. Don't, uh, don't let in the enemy uh, the chance to, to be capable to react. I will perform uh, on, a, on a normal speed right now, and we, I will need some more space some more distance between one and the other. If you could see, I am not performing the fastest I can, but it's only to see how powerful this could be and how violent, because Don has any possibility to react, Don has conditions to draw the soul, Don has conditions to, to, to cut, Don has conditions to, to escape for the attack, because the attack are very, very fast. Then those methods are explained and they were trained with very um, emphasis, with a, with a 
with a big emphasis on what it's, uh, what it's, how to defend and how to attack with a high speed. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed all this explanation and uh, please keep watching our channel and our videos. See you on next time. Thank you very much.